Welcome to today's edition of the OPEX Minute, presented by EMS Consulting Group. Today, we will be talking about the hidden factory and the cost of poor quality. The hidden factory is the notion that much of the endeavor of a company that is not quality-minded is directed inadvertently to creating waste and performing wasteful tasks. What are some examples of this? Let's suppose a health insurance company receives claims from its participating providers. Many of these claims come through the U.S. mail system. Let's further suppose that the process by which these claims gets entered involves manually entering claim information into a database. If we examine the process, we can see that there is a sort of hidden factory in place. People are spending hours each day entering information that was already entered once by the provider. Another example of a hidden factory might be a built-in rework system. Using the same example, let's suppose that 30% of the claims that come in are missing information. There may be a number of people spending time each day contacting the providers to get the required information. What is the cost of the hidden factory? We use a term called cost of poor quality, COPQ, to describe this cost. When we work on problem solving, it is a good practice to dollarize the extent of the problem by calculating the cost of poor quality. This takes into account labor and material costs associated with the defects or rework. We do this by counting the number of incidents, errors, or defects. Next, we determine the labor cost associated with fixing these problems. This includes reworking, storing, retrieving, etc. Then we determine the material cost, if any, associated with the defects. And finally, we add all of the labor and material costs. If you have an interest in learning more about the hidden factory and the cost of poor quality, visit our website at www.emsstrategies.com and contact us. We would be happy to help.